Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. Um, as per the last update, we expected here new lows. Um, I can't remember if I actually communicated that in a video, but certainly over the last few weeks, we've been putting out some signals on on um, on uh, the Telegram and Discord about Rune heading down to 90 cents, possibly lower, and it did that. The problem is that 90 cents is an important long-term long support on this chart. It broke that which means this chart is now bearish until we see a reliable signal to the upside. Um, it broke at some point here bullish support. I can't remember where exactly that was. I think around $1.20. From that point of view, I expected a price break to what to 90 cents to $1. And I think this is sort of what it's following at the moment in um, that we peaked here in a wave four in February. Yeah, this was a wave four actually missing the third wave. I don't know some reason the drawings have disappeared here on the chart need to look at that but um, this was a fourth wave basically rally yeah and then um, it did hold support here but eventually it turned out to be just an a wave a b wave up in a three wave structure and a breakdown in yeah this is a little bit difficult to to label really but best i can tell is that this was a one this was a two this was a three this was a four and maybe we're now still in the wave five but this will go as long as it goes and we need to see um, again a reversal signal. I don't have anything at the moment that would tell me that price is reversing. It would really need an imminent turnaround or it will become long term bearish, which is something that often happens to altcoins, right? Um, but for now, volume is a little higher than it was in this um, here in the last few weeks. So indicating that the downtrend may actually continue. Um, we don't have a strong reversal signal other than one small green candle. We have, let's go to the indicators, an oversold reading on the daily chart, which you could interpret as, as bullish, but without, first of all, a bullish divergence and without a reaction of the price, it is bearish because it's just indicates it's a, it's a strong downtrend, okay? But as soon as we see a reaction on price, it might lead to certainly a more significant bounce. And also the MACD is currently reducing negative momentum, but there's no reversal visible, visible okay? So at the moment, I'm, I'm just careful. Um, th there's nothing really bullish at the moment. First of all, we need a first possible impulse to the upside to indicate that trend is shifting. Yeah, we start to see here possible bullish divergences on the four hour chart. Yeah, on the on the MACD and the RSI, we can see those bullish divergences. But for now, you know, the, the trend is ongoing. Um, what else to highlight? Well, I mean, again, th this could also be in, in a, some kind of a different wave count. Um, just a kind of different structure. So we could also say that this was actually the wave one of the wave five. Yeah, this was the wave two of the wave five we might still be in the wave three of the wave five. There could be a four and a five. So essentially, what I want to communicate is that the trend is clearly down. Um, I have no clear support level left. That was 90 cents. Let's go back to the daily chart. I mean, the next support, I mean, we can add the VRVP that gives us some an idea of historical volume, yeah. Mm, let me go to the, oh no, let me just change on the VRVP the inputs row size let's make it a bit smaller oops one second 50. so just gives you a bit of a, a bit more, more detail so you can see that we've currently broken here below that um roughly the 90 cent level we had a bit of support here yeah a bit of a spike so it broke below there's a bit of an ins insufficiency there but it starts again around 65 cents and a strong spike here around 53 so there's going to be more support around 65 down to 40 cents but below that there's literally nothing yeah so ideally this is sort of the next chance where it really has a chance to turn around um, certainly a level to watch no guarantee it will turn bullish again it can always do that but in Elliott Wave we always need a signal and you know all TA would tell you now that the trend is down but this is giving you an area where we could expect a possible bounce all right, that's my update about Rune. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.